Some taxi drivers for the Raleigh paratransit program are in limbo for the right paychecks. Go Raleigh access drivers say it's all because a new system is getting the mileage wrong and it, date back, it dates back to August. WRL Shelly Jackson joins us now live from downtown Raleigh. Shelly, no date yet for when these workers will be brought up to date with the cash that they deserve. <laughs> Well, there isn't, and that's one of the issues. There's just no fixed pay date, and that makes it hard to plan for things like bills. And another issue drivers say is they are not getting paid what they're owed. Go Raleigh Access taxi drivers say they aren't being paid for their work. They're miscalculating the mileage, so it makes it look like it's less per mile, because if you compare it to the previous month, it's a big difference. What? They are not paying us the right mileage. Adam Asfari, who owns Wild Horse Taxis, says he believes the issue is with the software. So the software on the back end is calculating a distance that is, I believe, is a straight line from point to point. So not following any roads, but is going from one point straight across to the other point, not accounting for roads and their turns. The yellow in the spreadsheet shows potential mileage miscalculations for one taxi company since September. 11th. The column on the left is the mileage according to the software EcoLane. The column on the right, what the drivers actually clocked. As Fari says the miscalculations could cost his company up to $11,000 a year. But what I found about 70 to 75 percent of our completed trips are inaccurate. One owner who didn't want to go on camera says the miscalculation is costing her and her drivers a lot of money. Per day? a hundred to two hundred dollars a day. The drivers say they have lots of concerns. Pay is a month late and there isn't a fixed payday. So the end of the month is next week and bills are due for everyone. Assistant City Manager Michael Moore tells WRAL we have been made aware of this issue and are actively working with the taxi companies and the software provider to reconcile the issue. But this taxi owner says it's not acceptable. Our livelihood is being affected. Livelihood doesn't stop until next week. We have to survive every day. Now the city says it will work with individual taxi companies and drivers to fix the software and pay issue. Deborah, Shelly Jackson live in downtown Raleigh. Thank you, Shelly.